Hello, and I'm back on uh, Nudduck Wood. I've been out for a couple of weeks with work and whatnot. And I'm glad the temperatures dropped like last week, it was ridiculous, wasn't it? It was like 30 odd degrees. So I'm actually quite glad I was working, I couldn't get out because it was too hot. But today it's like really moody, still muggy, but it's overcast. It looks like misty, but it's not. I'll take you outside and show you. Take you outside and show you. And show you. And I'm in a different pay. So there's the owner's house. And I am in the point, the one what I've always wanted to get in. It's not a bad, bad drop, it. Bad drop is it? Those them flies, oars, flies, whatever they are, I don't know. I think they're all mating on me bivvy, get out of it. But yeah, fish all over to see one down there in the bay. As you turn you around, there's a couple down there. I should turn you around and show you late, just wait one. Yeah, so. This is the point swim, as you can see. Another big swim. The water's coming up now. But, like I say, loads of room again. And I ain't getting those sticks to do my little pointy, st pointy stick thing. I've got a hiccups now. What have I got here? So where I've got them, I've got one under that light coloured like bush there, that's where a lot of fish come from. Then a bit further along, under that tree, I've got one under there. And I've got one open water, just shy of halfway, round about there. But it is looking really good. Family of ducks over there. But I couldn't believe it when I got here. There was no one on. I've got the old lake to myself. And because this is a peg that has been producing, I've jumped in it. So, shall we see what happens? I'll say it's looking good. I'll have a little catch up later. I've just got set up. So. Richard and Holiday, I've just been chatting to his dad for probably nearly an hour. So I've just got the rods out now. So I shall catch you all later. Hopefully, we'll have a couple on this sesh. There was a lad in here who left when I come. He said he's had quite a few, but only the smaller ones. So, don't know if you can hear that. There's someone with a shotgun. Well, there's more than one, because they might be getting bang, 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 so this has got like a pump action shotgun. I don't know. But yeah, just a quick intro. I shall catch you all later. Probably tea time, I might get an hour's kit now. And then have something to eat, a couple of beers, and have a little chat later. So I'll catch you later. How many times am I going to say later in one vlog? A lot more yet. Bye for now. Hello. Well, oh, not happening yet, but there is time. I've got tonight and all day tomorrow and tomorrow night. Me left hand rod, which is the one under the light coloured bush, I had a pick up on that. I was getting a couple of liners on it, and then I think I actually picked it up. The bomb went to the top, but it's just dropped back so I, I got to the rod. I brought it in anyway. <coughs> and put it back out so I was in the, within the first hour already getting the rods out and I think now they might have moved out so I've seen them cruising about but away from that tree line so I'm hoping they move back in for another feed soon but they seem to have moved out at the minute I have seen them right in this corner right in this near bay but the weather's mad so, what was it last week? 30 odd degrees, wasn't it? Bright sunshine, everyone was burning and moaning it was too hot. Now, we're still in July, 
coming to August and I'll flip the camera around and I'll show you what it's looking like now. It is looking really groomy, gloomy. Let me just show you. Wait one. Yeah, there you go. There's the uh, scene now out of the bivvy. Say one thing, it was the end of the line here, the beginning of August. Don't know what's going on with this weather. But yeah, the one I had a bit of interest on was the one, the light bush. And then over the middle of the screen. It, it was the one under that bush that I was getting interest on. So hopefully it'll all come back. Because I did see there was a couple of sticking reds out and there's round there and a bit further along in the higher trees, like in the middle of the screen, next to the light bush, where I've got one under. There was a couple of fish there topping out. But then there was one in front of me, probably, I would say about two rod lengths out, don't it? It was about two rod lengths out, straight in front. Decided to have a little show. And that was showing. What is me? Here, but close in, just here. Straight out in front of me. But probably two rod lamps out. But I'm doing a little, just a little entry now. I wasn't going to do one because like, there's no way there and I want to sort of concentrate on me fishing this trip. So I'm determined to have one this time. So it's only early, it's like. It's nearly quarter past six. And looking out there, it's, it's been getting dark about ten o'clock. This darkish. Usually about ten at night, not quarter past six. Oh, just had a beep. Another liner, probably. That was on <coughs> the rod under that light bush again. So I think the back then they're still moving about around there. So, I'm confident this is building all the time because I'm getting interest, I know the fish are there. And I keep getting liners and, like that one, single bleat, wasn't it? But it's took the bobbin up a bit and it hadn't dropped back. So, it's looking promising. Trying to finish my coffee so I can start on my beer. I've been in bed early tonight, I think probably about nine o'clock. I'm tired now, I feel like I could sleep now. Even though I went on the late shift last night. I finished at midnight last night. But by the time I got to bed, it's like half one, two in the morning, because when I get home, after I unwind a bit, I just have to go straight to bed. And I was up about seven, and I was fanning it about like you do. <coughs> <coughs> Got a few bits in the car, back, had a coffee. I was watching some on telly or YouTube, I think. Then moved another couple of bits to the car and started getting myself ready, then got the rest of my gear in the car, then got here about, I don't know what time I got here, probably half 12 ish, something like that. Right, I'll just take you outside. You can see a bit more of the light then. Should I take my coffee with me? Yeah, why not? Yeah, see how dark it is. So it's to me is give you an idea of the quality of the fishery. So obviously that's Richie's house, the owner's house, and that building there at the side, that is our fisherman's lodge. Got another peg there, this is a bit I'll show you this peg in a minute, that's where I am look. I'm in the point. And next door, this is probably one of the biggest, biggest pegs. 
that wind's getting. I don't know, I've got some. This is a royal box. I was saying, look at the size of the pegs. You could easily get two on here, no problem. And they're all done. Well, there's the aerator. See, see the water's coming up. A few weeks ago, it wasn't even up to this peg, it was down there, you can see, but it's coming up. I say all the pegs are positioned, so you're not fishing in each other's water. Like, although I'm just there, I'm fishing sort of towards that tree line, this peg, if you see where it's open, you've got open water. And down to the boat house there. Then the next peg, he's got out there. It's all laid out really well. Yeah, that's just a little update. Like I say, there's Fisherman's Log. There's a car park. Just see the roof of my car over there, look. Not going too far because my rods are in, obviously. Yeah, like I say, there's a lodge. There's a car park, you just see my car peeking out there, look at the back of it. Right. That's my peg. Get this coffee drunk. And then I can start on my beer and I've got a barbecue chicken, barbecue barbecue chicken, is it? Wrap. I might have that for my tea. But you can see what people are fishy members on here. It's one of the world's best well best well kept. Yeah. One of the best well kept lakes in the area or syndicates in the area. You can't really moan at that, can you? Right, I'm gonna finish my coffee. Might loosen that line off a bit more because it pulled up a little bit. But the wind is coming in this corner. They happened in this corner. A couple of topping out in this corner. But well, that's it for now. I'm going to get my fishing head on. Concentrate on fishing now. And have a couple of beers and something to eat. Then be in bed for about nine. And up early. Getting baited up again early morning. As soon as it's light for high fish. Then they'll stay out to probably six tomorrow night. Then I bait up again and then that'll be it till I leave. So. I shall leave it there I think. And catch you in the morning. Let's have a fish in the night. So bye for now. And I'll catch you in a bit. Bye. Morning. Well, it's not the Lynx Blanco anymore on the Syndicate because I had one last night. I was getting liners all night. And I mean, all night, all the way through the night, right up to like three or four o'clock this morning. But about half eleven last night, one of the liners turned into a full blown run. And it put up a good fight. It was from my middle rod, which is not under the light bush. But the higher trees next to it, the one I had under there. I'll show you when I turn the camera around. And it was like drizzly, I got soaked, but don't care, do you? When you got a fish on. Yeah, so it was a nice 34 pound mirror. I'm not sure which one it is. I've got some photos, I think they're on my messenger. One of the lads got put photos up of all the named fish. So I'll try and find out the name of it. I've also put it up on the Syndicate Facebook page, so someone on there should help me out and tell me what it was called. Yeah, so, my first fish out with the new Syndicate and a 34 pounder. You can't moan at that, can you? Like I was saying, last time I was on, I thought I'd be happy even with a single or, you know, double, mid double, anything. But went straight in 34, so 
can't be bad. Well, it was not the best, it was like drizzy last night, so like I say, I got wet. It's been raining most of the morning, but it's supposed to be stopping soon. Next couple of hours, it's supposed to clear up. So I might do a bit of videoing outside at the minute. I'm sort of stuck in the bivvy. Don't know if you can hear it. It's now just, just gone quarter past seven. I've been up. About, I got up about half four, five. Brought the rods in, fresh baits on, back out. Well, brought two in. The one I had to fish on last night, I didn't put that back out. Because it's fishing under the trees and it was raining. I don't want any mucking, mucking about trying to get it back under there. So I just left it in for the night. I'll turn you around and show you the lake. It's a mist on the water. It's drizzly, but like I say, it's supposed to be clearing up soon. Just wait one, I'll turn you around. There you go. So the rain stopped now, you can see the mist on the water. And the old tripod, the weighing tripod's all up. So that's it, that's how I got today and tomorrow. I'm going happy now. If I don't have any more, I'm happy. Where it came from. The one under them trees there, middle rod. But most of my liners was coming off the one under this light bush. And that's where the ducks picked me up earlier, about half hour ago, three quarters of an hour ago. The one I've got out in open water, I brought it in a bit nearer, that one, because that's where it was showing last night. So I've still got a ch chance of time for another one or two. We shall see. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to finish my coffee and I might go back to bed for an hour or two. Say last night I probably had, I don't know, probably three hours sleep. Obviously I had to fish about half eleven. Then I put it in a retainer where I set the camera and that up, got the photos. That was about twelve. And then I sort of sat here buzzing because I was caught <coughs> for an hour. For an hour or so, and then went back to bed. Then couldn't really sleep. Got up for a wee. <coughs> right, all them ducks are back over the spot. Go on! Looks like they're all sat <coughs> over me baits, so they're going to start diving in a minute. So I'm going to have to shoot some boilies at them, I think. Anyway, I shall get off and I will put the pictures on the, the fish on after this. I'll send it video it. I don't like keeping them out too long. It was out, a couple of photos and back. So I'll end it here. I'll put the photos on and then I'll catch you later. Hopefully when the weather brightens up a little bit. So happy days. Bye for now. Hello. Well, no more fish. But I did catch some else. I've had a duck. No, it's only like two large families of ducks on here. And one of them, like I said, I kept diving, they did. I kept showing them off, kept finding a couple of boilers at them. But the young sussed out that it was food. So I was finding the boilers and I was diving on them. Anyway, I walked around the bank, I showed them off, they all went. I thought, right, I get an hour's nap. Just bobbed off, bobbed, just bodied, bobbed off, bodied, bobbed, bobbed off, yeah. And then I had a run. Looked out and I see the duck said, I thought, I bet it's a duck, but they all sort of scattered. And I thought, well, maybe not, maybe something spooked. And anyway, I lifted up, so I lifted in, and thought, duck. It come to the top, flapping and there. Anyway, I got it in. And I got it on up and I let it go. So now it's got a pierced tongue. So it went spooked all the ducks off anyway. They had me back over this side the rest of the afternoon.
they're staying away from this area now. So I've just rebaited, same spots, and it's a nice evening, isn't it? Got the old bud. It is now quarter to six, that's it. I've just finished rebaiting. Stay out now. And I will have an early night tonight. I said last night, didn't I? I'll have an early night. And then I had a run out for them, didn't I? And I was up, I don't know. Because I was buzzing after that fish. I put it on the, uh, on the Syndicate forum or the Syndicate web Facebook page. And no one's sure which fish it is. I think they're thinking it's either Eros. Eros or Diesel or Jude so I think we've got it now down to one of them three because there's, there's a few mirrors in here well obviously from the same stock or from the same spot or whatever so they do look quite similar there's any little slight differences so I'll probably know more later on because one of the lads on there who knows the fish and he studies them He's going to check later when he's got time. Because he did say he doesn't think it's here, Ross. But then one of the baiters, oh, he's an admin, but he does all sorts on the lake. He's a dude or diesel. So I don't rightly know. All I know is it was £34. I caught it, and that's me that would blank over. Yay! Like I say, yeah, it's a nice evening. Sat outside chilling. I could turn you around and you can see my old looking muck and the lake, couldn't you? Wait one, let me try that. See so if I can get a better angle. Then I'm looking at the house, do you? Or do you? You might be thinking of buying. Nah, I just tried it. It's too dark of a... Do it the way around so I'm looking at a lake. It was just too dark. But anyway, it's been a good sesh. It's been really hot, humid and muggy today, so I don't know if that's put them off feeding. And I'm not seeing as many top as I did last night at this time. Again, that could be due to the weather. I mean, I'm sweating. Well, I've done this movie here, turn it around, try it that way, and turn it back this way. But... I'm happy. <laughs> hey. It is. Say it's uh I don't know, it's been a weird one today. Say so yesterday when I got here, they were showing a lot of them sticking their heads out. And I see them cruising in and out of this corner, I was getting loads of liners. And no liners today. And I have slackened them off to what it was yesterday to stop me getting so many liners through the night. I'm not slack, not like semi slack. But it is looking nice. I shall got them little flies, a little something itching me, I don't know. So I've got man boobs, look. Oh, it's muscle, really. No, it's not, I'm getting fat, aren't I? Right, I should turn you around and show you the lake. That's better than looking at this ugly mug, isn't it? So I shall do that. Hang on a mo. Right, there you go. So there's a little bit of ripple on the water. Oh, the duck I had was under the light bush. Which is looking a bit dark now, isn't it? But if I can get a little pointy stick. You know where it is anyway, I've showed you, haven't I? Oh God, here we go. Yeah. That light bush. That's where he had the duck. I say fair up there is where he had the fish. Let me move a rod now. He's out that way and probably about here. Yeah, where that ripple is on the water. Yeah, level with that. Not that far out. So that's it. Last night, it's a chill out night, a couple of beers. Just enjoyed the lake. 
and maybe another fish but if not like I say it's been a good session because I've had three haven't I three I've had one and a duck getting in front of myself now three aren't I well, let's go for a little walk see that view is a bit boring isn't it but here's the lake so it is It's eight acres ish. And the pegs are all well spaced out, look. There's a peg. Down that bank, you haven't got any peg. There, there's a Wendy house. That's Rich's daughter. And there's a peg there. There's pegs right down there. And then there's pegs on that bank. And there's no pegs on that side. So it is real nice. Say the house, what you've already seen. You've got a spare 1.8 mil, that's what it gets you. A real nice house, the fisherman's lodge. But if someone buys it and decides to turn it into a day ticket or shut it all together, that fisherman's lodge would be like a granny flat, won't it? I suppose. And this is your view outside out of the house. Or part of it, and get back a bit. Look, <laughs> oh dear, oh, it's warm in that sun. Yeah, there's me. Not a bad view from the house, is it? But I'm waffling so. Well, I do, I'll have a little catch up in the morning. And that'll be it. I'm at work at quarter past three, so I want them the latest I'm going to be home at 12. Before, really. I've got to get home, get a shower, probably get stuff for me pack up, get ready for work, and then get to work. And I hate rushing. So if I get home at 12, get all the car on where we did, it's going to be what? Ah, uh, 12. Pot to ask, just get me bits and bobs, be back for one, jump in the shower, half one. And then half two. That's it, I've got to get dressed ready for work, then leave and be at work for quarter past three. Hey, yeah, but I've booked a week off in September. I'm trying to book a week off in September. I haven't been confirmed yet. Then I can either do... See, I could do four or five nights, but... I don't know. I could do two frees. I could do three nights, then go home for a day. Shower, recharge everything, then come out and do another three days. So that'll be six, seven days, won't it? We'll see, I could pop on stables then. I could do two days on stables, come home, then do four days on here. Could do it that way. We shall see, that's September, isn't it? That's a bit off yet. Next week, I don't know, it depends, obviously, what the rotor says I'm doing. What days I've got off, I've got two days off together, I've only got one day off. Because at the moment, moment we're short staffed. Because we're one man down on site. And obviously when you just, you've just got enough to do the job, when someone's off, that's it. It just mucks everything up because there's no one to cover. So it means we have to do an extra shift or extra few hours here and there just to cover someone else's shift. So you don't know what, what's happening. You end up being old hours and then it's when you get the hours back, usually the end of the year, winter. So I'll be all right in the winter. Be able to get loads of fishing in them because I got all the days what I rode, all the hours I mowed. But it's not as nice as this time of year, is it? Even though I don't mind the winter, it's, at least you can get on the lakes, it's quieter. Fishing's harder, but it ain't been that easy on here for me as it is. 
we shall see. Anyway, I'm waffling on, so I'll end it here. And we'll have an update in the morning. Hopefully, I'll have another fishy picture for you in the morning, but we shall see. I've just seen a bit of bubbling. There is hope left. It's the first bit of sign of fish I've seen. Right, I'm going because I'm waffling. Catch you all later. Bye for now. Morning. Well, last night didn't go to plan. Looks like I've got dandruff throughout what it is. But well, it's really muggy now. Well, some guy opposite me looks like he's jumping in the gate. No, he's going down. Yeah, so plan was early night, wasn't it? Catch up on some sleep. Got to bed at like 9 o'clock, like I said. And 10 o'clock, I had a run. No liners last night. Oh, I did, I had a couple, but I had a run at 10. Thought well for what it was, but I got it in. £14 common, a little stocky common. But put up a good account of itself. Even though it was less than half size of the mirror I had. So that rod stayed in. I thought, That's, I'm not... Like I say, it's dark where I'm fishing. I could... I packed all the boat away, I'd unplugged it all, put a battery out, cleaned it, put it all away. So I wasn't going to get it out again, just to put one rod out. And you need it with the lights on the boat to get under the tree. So obviously it's dark then, so... So then, went back to bed, it must have been about 11. After I'd you know, got the fish out, unhooked it, weighed it, photoed it, put it back. Got back to bed. And then, about 2 this morning... Another run. This one of the one under the light bush. First one was under the tree again to my left. Second one was under the light bush. And it was pretty much looked like the same fish. It was another little common. This one was only £13. So I didn't even bother photoing that. Because first one, I put the photo of the first one and the second one is basically the same to look at. The same sort of size. Put that back. So I got back to bed. I don't know, must have been like half two is quarter to three. Then about five, I started getting a few liners. So I watched the rod for a bit, went back to sleep. Seven, got up. Got my coffee made. I started getting things ready to pack away. I took the light off, two rods are in now, and that, the second one, so that's two rods in, I'm only fishing one rod now. And the one I've got left out is the one what's open water, and I've just had a liner on that. We had a load of rain this morning, that's why I'm trying to let the baby dry as much as I can before I pack it away. Because <sighs> then when another storm comes, I don't want to get everything packed, and outside the baby, then the storm comes, everything's going to get wet in it, so I'm going to start packing everything away, then when I'm ready to go, the last rod in, that's going to be away, then all my gear to the car and one go, what, two goes. So, that's the scores on the doors. Three fish, one duck. Not a bad session. Seems my first four sessions on here was all blanks. But like I said, the right peg, I did say before, didn't I didn't have, I got on this peg. I got in a point I would feel confident to catch him because I've seen where they come so I know where to feed here. And they, they were all the time, all the time it's this peg. And it's that tree line. And like I say, the three I've had have been off that tree line. The one no more or nothing. But next time... <coughs> well, if this peg's empty, I'll jump in here. But if it's not... And the gate's empty, I might go in gate and see if I can get them going a bit further up this tree line that in because they do get caught there as well. But I know they do come off the middle peg that side. <coughs> we have done two vlogs. And when they are fit, when they are catching off that middle one, they have three or four fish. And I know Reedy the cat come off there. So that's the other side of the lake, isn't it? But I do know the two spots now off there to fish as well next time I'm on there. So I'll turn you around. Let you have a look at the lake. This is going to be a long, it's just finishing like I'm saying. Like I had another two in the night, but it's both like small stocky commons. But it's looking good for the futures. 
a few commons in here now because majority of the bigger fish are mirrors. I know there's Christine and Audrey. There's three or four big commons, but mainly mirrors. So I'll show you outside and then this will be the end. Happy days, caught on the syndicate. Just stay in your hand, wait one. Right, so there's a the view outside. Just show you my rig wire here. So say this is going to be short because I'm going soon I want to get a start packed up. So it's called a tungsten tubing. That's the avid leg clip. And that is just size 6 crank with an S7 top with a half tone. And both fish have come to the S7. So, like I say, it's, this is it now. I'm going to have to start getting packed away. Just been chatting to the lad who's come on. I've just been chatting for like nearly half hour, so I need to get sorted out. So I'll, I'll end it here. Thanks for, thanks for watching. If you enjoy these sort of videos, I think I said it before, give us a like and a sub. And I shall catch you all on the next one. So bye for now. Hopefully I'll be out next week or the week after. Or like I said, September. I've got a week so I'll do two venues that session. So thanks again. And I shall catch you all on the next one. Bye for now.